Hello, everyone. Why do I feel like everyone else has all this great lighting in their houses for video, and I just have recessed lighting and it doesn't do anything for me? Anyway, people asked, and I'm gonna do a cook with me type of video. Well, there's not much cooking involved. It's, this is an incredibly easy vegan recipe, simplest thing you can friggin' make. Great for the people who have been asking for easy vegan recipes. What I'm making is a chickpea salad. This recipe, you can uh, change a couple things around and make it more like a chicken salad, make it more like an egg salad, more like a tuna salad, depending on the uh, stuff you add and the amounts of such things. I'm not gonna bother calling it any of those specific things. Maybe it'll be close in some ways to like a tuna salad. Like if it was a chicken salad, I'd, I'll, okay, we'll get into it. What you will need couple of garbanzo beans. By the way, I'm doing this all kind of on my own. I'm not following a recipe. If you, you can go online and I'm sure there's plenty of recipes for stuff like this. I, however, I'm just kind of going by feel here. Fair warning before I just start throwing stuff in without measuring it. I'll try to give kind of estimates of how much I put in. So I'm gonna try to do two cans Got some celery, some carrots. Um, this might not make sense at first, but it is definitely a, it's a must for me. Just mayo, vegan mayo, squirt of mustard, some lemon, and this is for later. That's some low carb bread. Spoiler alert, it, I think it's low carb because it's literally just air. Follow your heart, smoked gouda, dairy-free, cheese alternative, vegan. This, these are for later. You know what, while I'm at it, throw an onion in there for Shrek. Get yourself a nice, decent, poly whatever cutting board. It's good. Doesn't hold a bunch of bacteria and whatnot like wood does not just going to destroy your knives like glass would. If we're being extra safe, put a little... There we go! Great. If you have like a, a big old cheese grater like a like a thick cutting one you could probably do that with the carrots I don't know where that would be right now so I'm just gonna cut them as best I can peel them don't forget to peel them watch up doc okay I peeled one I'm gonna cut this up and see where we're at hopefully you didn't need me to show you how to peel a carrot but you never know hey <laughs> Okay, I don't really have a procedure for this, so I'm just gonna go for it. Don't cut yourself. Go like this so that you don't cut your fingers off. Half moons for now. So you have a flat base to cut with. Like that. It helps if you kind of feed it into the knife and keep the knife in the same place. Just really watch your fingers. Obviously push away from the blade if you're getting stuff off. Also, uh, don't, don't, um, rely on my advice for, um, using a knife. I'm not a trained professional. Should not be, uh, used for, in replacement of proper training or medical advice. And we got some big chunks here. I'm just gonna kinda thin this out a little bit using a decent method, I think. Just kinda roll it on. And 
the cross cut. So that's a decent size for me. Obviously you can keep going if you like them smaller. Grab yourself a shellery. And uh, don't have to be quite as picky about the size on this. I'm just gonna cut off the ends. Woo! And uh, similar technique, I guess. Hmm, should I split it first? Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Genius. I personally like a lot of crunch to it. So if you want flavor but not as much crunch I say you should cut these smaller maybe use less I mean I'm probably not gonna use all of this but might as well just cut once figure it out later a couple of bigger chunks in here maybe I'll run through it once bundle it all up beautiful Now, I think I'll add a little bit of white onion, or yellow onion. I don't know what kind of onion this is. It's not a red onion. Uh, fun fact, all the stuff that makes you cry is in the root part, I believe. Also, that's what holds it all together, so if you can, try to cut that last. Gonna give this a peel. Look at that, beautiful. Hmm. There's lots of ways you can go about this. I'm gonna go for the lazy friggin method here which is score it out before I cut it and then it all just comes off in one thing okay in hindsight I should have scored it a little deeper but let's see where we're at with this There we go, take a look at that. Can I get another one out of it? Not as much, but that's okay. There we have the epic trio. I forget what you call this, carrot, celery, and onion. There's like a French name for it. Anyway, that's all done. That was the hard part. Let's move on to the beans. Obviously, if you want to soak your own garbanzo beans and do that instead of canned, you're welcome to maybe reduce some sodium in the process. I'm not doing that right now. If you have a potato masher, this will be easy. If you don't, grab a fork and just press down like that and it'll take a long time, but it'll be worth it. You can also punch it if you want. And I don't mind if there's whole beans left after this in the salad. It doesn't really bother me. Sometimes I won't even bother mashing. And by the way, it's not really mashing. Just breaking them up. Giving it a different texture than all these slippery beans. Okay, that'll about do it. Yeah, there's a couple of whole beans left, but that's fine. I don't mind it. Adds a variation to the texture. So now I'm just going to eyeball how much of these goodies I want to include. Um, maybe I'll give you my best estimate of what I did after. Start with celery. That. Let's use all the celery. Looking pretty good. Uh, celery, it really adds a, a good flavor to this, in my opinion. Carrots. 
Hmm. Maybe a couple more carrots. So what was that? Two, two and a half cups of celery, maybe. Cup or cup and a half-ish of carrots. About. That's a nice ratio for me. Now onions, gotta be careful with the onions. Got a handful here. Hmm. That might do it. Like less than a cup, maybe half a cup, three quarter cup. Don't wanna overwhelm it with onion. Next, one of the secret ingredients, kraut. This, I for some reason I feel like it gives it a a type of tuna y taste to it. So maybe you could more align this with a tuna salad replacement. And I mean, all it is is, you know, like cabbage. So not gonna go too crazy here. It's looking pretty good. So yeah, yeah, that's got this, the sauerkraut gives it a tuna y kind of feel or smell. If I was going for an egg salad, I might try to include, or instead of using chickpeas, I would use some tofu, maybe some silken tofu, like something like less hard, less firm, to kind of like make it creamy, and then maybe some slightly firmer tofu in there, and then some turmeric for color, a lot of mayo, a little bit of mustard. For a chicken salad, probably use more mayo than I'm going to for this. And maybe not the carrots. And more lemon than I'm going to use. Just mayo. Gonna eyeball this. I don't need too much mayo, probably. Heaping spoonful. Heaping spoonful. Let's see what that does for us. Well, that looks perfect. Hell yeah. So next, to kind of set the flavor of the sauce, got a couple of additives here. We're going with a little bit of mustard. Some lemon juice for that zesty little zing to it. Jamie doesn't like the lemon juice. Tiny bit of salt. I mean, the, the beans were already in salt, so. Cracked black pepper. You could also add it right before if you want. I am gonna take some liberties here. Go with some cumin. You don't have to do this part. Paprika. A little garlic. Fair warning, in the time I was doing this, I also preheated the oven and threw the bread in there. We'll get to that later. Another thing I sometimes find myself adding to this is relish, by the way. I don't know why. Actually, you know what? Okay, apparently I don't have relish. You got lucky this time. Let's see how we did. Oh yeah, that's it right there. That is some good chickpea salad. Now what can you do with this? You could eat it the way it is, or you could apply it to things, make a melt out of it, some kind of sandwich, whatever you do with chicken salad or tuna salad, I suppose, put on some crackers. Oven's taking too long. Start up the broiler. Go. Toast. Now. Make toast. You know what? That's good enough for our purposes. It's not toast, but at least it's firmed up. Oh no, we're good. It's nice and crispy. Just not browned. Get some of this up on there.
You remember our friend Smoked Gouda? I um, actually coated them with a tiny bit of olive oil just to help in the melting process. So if the smoked Gouda is not for you, you can go ahead and try some type of Swiss. That's probably the, uh, the usual choice for this type of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven. Now, I probably would have gone with like some kind of maybe a rye or like a sourdough or something for this other than just like white bread, but it's what I had. I don't, I try not to eat too much bread. And it's apparently low carb and low calorie because it's just made of air. Anyway, we're just starting to bubble here, so turn that off. Oh, yeah. Take a gander at the cheese. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. I've put some, a little bit of oregano and black pepper on top. Not sure why. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth. Oh, the smoked Gouda really did it. That's epic. And finally, what we've all been waiting for. Gonna try to make oat milk for the first time. Got some old fashioned oats. Got a little pitcher here, and I got a blender. And now, it, the recipe I looked at, it was literally just oats and water, and then they said you can add dates blended in, or maple syrup to sweeten it. I think I'm just gonna do the two, just water and oats. Their thing says a cup of oats, four cups of water, I think. So I was originally gonna make like two batches of that, or you know, double size it. But now I'm thinking, since it's a test, I better just do the one, see how it goes. They're saying strain it through like a cheesecloth or a towel, a clean towel or t-shirt. I don't know if I like the idea of a towel, but I do have a clean towel on standby. I'm going to try just like a regular old strainer and see what happens. And then assuming that doesn't work, I'll do the towel. Cup of oats. Four cups of water. And you know what? I'm gonna actually go a little less than four because it said add less water if you want it to be like creamier, thicker. Which I guess I could have just added more oats instead, but let's go for less. It said blend for a minute. That'll probably do it. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, obviously a little gritty. Interesting. Did I blend it off, you think? Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna make any alterations right now. Don't wanna ruin what I got going on. So I'm assuming this is gonna do nothing, but we will see. Oh, you know what, it made a little film over it. Let me see what I can do about this. That's a lot of oats. Okay, almost there. We got afterwards. I think it got a good amount of the stuff out. I mean, probably still gonna be gritty, but hmm. Okay, and oh yeah, another thing they said. They said salt, which, you know, Salt enhances the flavor of anything. So we'll go for a little bit of that, actually. Honestly, I have no problem with the way it is. I just want to see its potential. Oh my god, you should have added that before you blended it. It'll be all right. Maple syrup. Gotta add a little splash of this. Give it a stir. It's a little thick. Maybe I could have blended it less. Used more oats, blended less. Oh yeah. Very oaty. Hmm, should I try the towel? Let me see if it makes a difference. Okay, this I can tell is gonna be a friggin' mess. There, a nice little funnel. Nice funnel for the kid.
Yes. I, my phone almost just went into the... Yes, towel. Work your magic. Get in there. Should I give it a squeeze, maybe? Oh. Got some spillage. This towel, I think, is a little too fine. Oh, that's a disaster. Okay, that was an absolute no. But I did drink the stuff that did get uh, through, and it's very pure and nice and delicious. Could have done with a little less maple syrup. But that, I think, is the uh, desired texture. This, that is milk. I have one more idea, though. I pour it into this bowl with the same towel that I washed off. It's wet. And that'll hopefully give it room to uh, strain through. Wow, genius! Take your time, no rush. Do what you gotta do. Seep through. Start slowly pulling this out. Yeah, surface area. That's how to do it. Hell yeah. There's gotta be some benefit to using something non-absorbent. I guess cheesecloth. Yeah, I should buy some. The friggin' oat milk in the store, it's like, what, like five bucks for a carton? This. I, this was three dollars. Think about how much use you get out of it. Okay, come on. You got it. You can do it. All right. I'm not going to make you wait through this. Okay, after like ten minutes of trying to squeeze that out and twist it and all that, I uh, give up. But... What I was able to get out of it is more than a more than a, a glass's worth. Definitely a bowl of cereal or two, and that's just because I used the wrong type of towel, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say t-shirt or cheesecloth is probably the way to go. I uh, don't have a t-shirt. I feel like parting with at this time, but finished product is very good. Thick with two C's. Definitely would go good in a co speaking of, let's go good in a coffee. Oh, that's good. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed my cooking recipe, such and such video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Let me know what you thought. Hopefully uh, someone can make use of this. Anyone trying out veganism. The oat milk, I gotta say, what a cheap alternative to going and buying whatever at the store. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Willow Davis, out. It's the next day. Update, made a new batch. Used a more porous towel, if you will. Came out pretty great, in my opinion. Used a little more oats. That way it's nice and creamy. I win. Also, the time has come. Merch is here. I'm going to put links in the description. I whip up like a poster or something, I don't know. A little picture. Uh, I hope everyone likes it. I wanna obviously add more designs and stuff, but check it out. It's merch by Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, you got Prime shipping, free shipping. What is it, free two-day shipping. Pretty pumped about it. Hope you guys like it.